Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 for the final episode, episode 33, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 9.51, August 2, on my final day here on Silver Run Forest. Um, as I said in the last episode, my original plan when I first started was I was here to help gather resources to build the roller coaster. The roller coaster is now done. All the rest of the stuff was kind of in between and around. Um, Deadwood Revisited, that's what we're going to be looking at because of a few changes. Um, I want to have a look at the, the Deadwood and see how it's changed, what's changed. A bit of information sharing, but also because I'm curious. As you can see, the money has gone up considerably. It's gone up considerably because um, because of the roller coaster build, if we go into here and to our production chains, all of my production chains were full. And when I say full, I had all the incoming materials all stocked up so I could keep everything going. I had all my outgoing materials set on distributing. So, and some of them were set on storing, depending on which ones they were, um, to make sure they didn't go um, kind of all over the place and, and to places I didn't want them to go. I also had 850,000 litres of wood chips sitting there um, that I needed to, to sell. And I've cleared out the last of the iron ore. I say the last of it, it's a continual thing, but I've cleared out the iron ore as well. So what I did, I went through every single production. I put them all on and I put them all on selling. So I cleared out everything I had as outgoing products. As you can see, incoming materials, I've still got quite a lot in all of my facilities, but outgoing, everything is set to um, to selling. And we had nearly, well, just under $2 million worth, I've just realised that's on pounds, um, the two million we had sitting there in resources waiting to be used on the roller coaster. So that's where we're at, 3.2 million. I'm up here at the North Sawmill because the first thing we're going to test, or I'm going to test, I've got some dead wood trees here that I haven't cleared when I was clearing the hillside and I was using the cable yard and that kind of thing because we own all this land up here. Um, I've got the devourer which I've been using for stump grinding but I can use it for wood chipping. So what I'm going to do, it's empty. My first test, now the last time I did this, now you, there are different size and different height deadwood trees so this may vary a little bit i was getting roughly 50 liters of wood chips from a deadwood tree that's what i was getting before so my first test the thing i want to look at is let's drop that down has that changed dramatically i would say 1104 compared to 51 is quite an improvement so as far as deadwood being worth more, I mean, it's still not, you know, you're not getting four or five thousand litres for a tree or anything like that, but 1,104 as opposed to 51 litres is not too bad at all. So what I'm going to do is pull up here, because the next thing I'm going to do, the Van Zelt we bought at the end of the last episode, I'm going to use it. I took on a deadwood contract, so open here, and we are, are we just inside the circle now? We should be seeing tree markings if we are. That one's not part of it, apparently. Anyway, yeah, so I've got a deadwood contract. I've taken one tree down already. So what I'm going to do is get the trees down, clear them of their branches, use the... I was going to use the crane to load, but I have got the high lift there as well. I'm not selling all my machinery and equipment and all the buildings and all, because you think of the amount of stuff I've changed and my little homestead and all the stuff I've done since we started on here, it'd be a lot to get rid of. Clam bunk opens on that, so you can grab stuff in the clam bunk to drag it all out. Double winch on the back of the fan zelt and we can put that down as well, so that will help me move some of the logs around. I've just got to find all the deadwood ones first, actually. Um, oh yeah, we're just inside the circle now. I think that's going to be one over there, isn't it? I think we've got 12 we've got to do. There we go. So that one can come down. Let's get the most bang for our buck we can. So what I'm going to do is take, a, take I say, a full load, whatever it is, 11 or 12, we've got to cut down. And um, I'm going to take them down to the south sawmill and we'll sell them and see what we get for a load. Um, because I think the first time I did it and I was all excited so it's going to be brilliant, we're going to make loads of money on the Deadwood contracts, and we really didn't um, at all. It was disastrous what we, what we got. So I think that's kind of where we're at. Oh, the other thing is, as well, 
we will be doing our last boat. We'll be catching the last boat out of here. Well, actually, we won't be catching the boat, but um, the final boat that I was producing is ready to go. At 2 p.m., it's going to go. So I want to get this all done, get down there, we'll watch that launch, and then I'll head off to um, to Pastures New. Another challenge. I've, I've kind of, in my head, decided where I want to go, but it's not 100% set in stone. I'm not going to lie. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent. I think it's what I want to do, but I'm not sure. Should I cut that that way? I think. Oh, while we're doing this as well, I want to say a massive thank you to um, the moderators and guys in my Discord um, for being Johnny on the spot and being up to speed with things that are going on. The guys that are moderators on my YouTube comments and stuff as well thank you i'm going to say this on here i'm going to say it on the next mod review i do i did put a message in my on my facebook and on my twitter account to say this if you are leaving comments on my youtube channel and you get a message from me or what you think is me using my logo saying that um you should reply by telegram you've won a competition you you, you know you've got all this lovely stuff coming your way kind of thing it is not me, it's a scam. There are spam bots and various different things that are doing the rounds. I thought the YouTube um, filters were supposed to be catching those things now um, to prevent them from happening as often. If I'm gonna run any competition at all, it would be either on a live stream where I would talk about it. If you don't hear the words come out of my mouth on a video saying I'm doing a competition, I'm not. If you receive a message from me, it's not me, okay? So it'll either be a live stream or it'll be on a video like this. I might say, look, I'm, I'm going to do a competition. If you leave a comment in the chat, and I would ask you to leave a comment. It might be you need to put a word, a phrase or something to be entered into the competition. Then all I would do is on the next video, I would tell you who the winner is and I would contact that person. I would not just blanket contact people. So just to be aware of that, I know... Um, there will be people out there who will say, well, it's obvious, it's a scam. It isn't to everybody. And, you know, you get a message from somebody saying you've won something. There's always that initial thing of, that's really cool, I've won something, you know. So I understand why people um, thought maybe they had, but just so you're, you're all aware, it's not me, okay? I have not been messaging people. I will not message people. If I run a competition, you will hear me say the words on a video or a stream that I'm running one and how to enter it and how you will be contacted. So just to let everybody know of that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get the rest of these cut down. Just think I need to check this in a moment because um, is there one up there? Just thinking where the circle is, is that one? Yep, let's cut that down. And I've got to remember where they all are. Perfect. I thought, but that's all right. Whoa! Glad I wasn't standing the other side of that. Right, so what I need to do now is... Round. What I should be able to do, I'm going to probably just have a wait for the moment. I think I can do this front one. There we go. That's what I wanted. Should be able to do. Let's grab that. And we'll go to one there. Grab that. Where was it? Is it too far away? It was in my mind. It was up here, wasn't it? There we go. 
got a nice good reach on it, that. Uh, make sure I go the right way. Ah, oh, it's going to go over that or not? hillside helps, as you can see. That one over, there we go. And that one. Of course it would go behind, wouldn't it? Oh dear me, right. Detach tree from winch, but what I will do is raise that just a fraction. Like I said, I could use the crane on here to load the logs on, but if I'm going to do a whole load of them, i use the blade just to put those together a little bit. Quickly. That's better. Go and get the other ones. Right, see in a bit. And hopefully we'll have that loaded, we'll get it taken down. Got to find the best wool, the best route out for this. That's the thing I want to do. I want to do some thank us, oh, as I've been saying. I'll see you in a bit. I'll do. Um, who was the other ones? There was a group of people that I wanted to thank. Um, get there momentarily. Let's hop in there. Drive that forward. Uh, so, massive thank you and shout out to uh, to Felix, to Jason, to James, to Peter, Joseph, Tony, Greg, Stephen, uh, Robert, um, Jason, David, I'm trying to think, who else on there, for your generosity and your kindness. Um, I can't thank you enough. Um, um, Honestly, yeah, thank you. Uh, did you say Peter, no, Joseph, Robert, James? Yeah, thanks. To, thank you to all of you for your generosity and your kindness for supporting the channel. I know everyone supports the channel, but you know.
Okay, I've had a couple of crashes. I'll explain in a minute. Hang on a second. How many times have I driven past here on various different jobs, taking iron ore and stuff like that? How have I never noticed that before? I'll take it. <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen that before. How weird. Um, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, contract is complete on the Deadwood. Um, I tried to load up using the high lift, um, grabbed them in the grab, all the Deadwood trees, and twice now the game's crashed. So I'm reverting to this. Um, I'm not going the right way. I'm lost. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed it doesn't do it again. Um, I don't know. We'll get them on. I've turned the lorry round. Uh, the Fanzel, I love that. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Yeah, it's a forwarder. There are loads of different forwarders. It's just something a bit different. And it looks quite funky as well. I, I just like it. So, um, this one. Next one. We'll take him down to the sawmill and see what we get. It's not going to be mega money, but it's going to be mega money compared to what Deadwood was before. I'm going to say that, assuming, of course, it turns out that it is okay. Travis, I can't remember what I got before. It was, it was a... It was such a tiny amount. Because I thought, even if... It, for contracts, generally speaking, but especially for doing a kind of contract like this, if you um, if you make the same as you get for the contract, you've doubled your money. I don't think I even doubled my money when I did it before. I think this contract is for 11 trees. It's only worth 1,600. It's, again, it's not huge money, but if I can get more than 1,600 for the logs, I've more than doubled. So it's... You know, I say it's worth doing, it depends. If you look at your time put in, the equipment you're using, that kind of stuff, there may be other better ways of making money, but when you're starting out, with a few bits of equipment, it probably works out. Actually, a little bit further then, let's do that. I think I'm going to have more of that end, don't I? Yep. All the weight's that end. That's why I turn the lorry around. I was worried about all the weight hanging off the back end of the lorry and it being unbalanced and then not being able to strap it down properly. So let's try and there. I'd like to come a bit further still. That's better. The question is, can I get all of them and will the telehandler pick them up? Now, when I move to my next um, map, I have already said what I'm aiming to do is use different mods. So uh, all the mods I've used on this Let's Play... On, no, that's too much. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, all the ones I've used on Silver Run. I say all of them. That's a bold statement. I'm going to try and find different mods for doing the sort of similar processes. That's the idea. I'm just worried now that when I extend the boom to get over there, the whole lot's going to tip. Even if it tips forward now, it doesn't matter because I'll be over the thing. Let's tilt there. That's what I was talking about. Come on, chop them off, that'll do. Excellent stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the, th the plan, is it'll be different mods. There may be a couple of things I use again. Um, bag handlers, that's a, oh, that's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going to have to go full, full forks, I think. I may keep the farm supply pack, I don't know, because that's one I do like using a lot. It's no different to using, like I said, the um, CNS modding Amory silo that we had on FS19, because it was cheap. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, why shouldn't you get cheap seed and fertiliser? In this day and age, the cost of things, I want, I want a cheap alternative. There we go. Just to go over the end of there. But yeah, so uh, different vehicles. I was going to take my Jeep with me for, to the next map because that was one I, I really like the Jeep mod. And I said that one might come with me, but I don't think it will fit. If I go to the map, I think I'm going to go to. Uh, that's probably a little bit too far forward. I have got a headache rack on the back of the, uh, the lorry. Right. So. This JCB, 
and the JCB Tele Skid. I'm going to miss that as well. The Tele Skid is a brilliant bit of kit. Um, this thing has just been amazing, truly amazing. That I'm not going to lie, it's probably just me. Probably just need a bit more practice, but don't know. Like I kind of built myself up to getting it, and then I'm, I'm not sure. Strap some. Let's get it down, get it sold, and see what we get. And then what we'll do is head to the boatyard. We'll wait for the uh, boat to go. And I'm going to probably whiz up past the homestead, and we'll have a look. You know, just at. I don't just because I'm feeling like you know. I say nostalgia. Nostalgia kind of implies a long time period, doesn't it? But it's that. I always get this when I end a, end, end a series and I'm finishing on a map. You kind of get so used to the map and the environment and the routes you take and the stuff you've built and going backwards and forwards to certain places that when you then stop to take it all in and think of everything you've done on that farm, that map, that area, it's amazing. So, I'll, un I'll sell these first and then we'll complete the contract. I'll try it that way around. Make sure the train's not coming, I don't want to get clobbered. Then we'll do the other bits. I'm pretty sure, because I was going to take some more iron ore to the iron furnace. I'm sure I've still got about 40,000 litres in there. It only takes 59 or 60,000 litres. 59, 9, 60. So that, all of the productions I've still got running could chug away for probably another couple of months before they all run out. And as far as the tree planting goes, I cleared that big area up where my wood production is with the proviso that that was going to be a plantation, which again, had it taken me another year to do the roller coaster, absolutely, I would have been planting on that to see them grow over the next year. I have a tree planting um, crew in place. They will do it in my stead after I've left. Or I might come back and do it myself, actually. I don't know. I haven't collected all of the collectibles. Like I said, I wasn't going to go hunting for them. If I came across them, I would pick them up. It was never a treasure hunt for me for those. It was just if I saw them, I'd grab them. So as it said, I think I've got 12 left to collect. But um, we, and we've had a go at most stuff. I didn't do the pet supplies. What else didn't I do? Oh, the art supplies. So the pet stuff and, and the art stuff. But because they're available as separate placeables, I could do them at some other point somewhere else. It doesn't have to be on here but we used the train we had a go with a load of the gear not all of it i didn't buy the hannibal i'm so pleased we got that completed and riding that was brilliant we'll go past the boat yard what's the time now 10 44 so we've got long to wait for the boat to go might stop for waffles on my on my way out that was weird what did i hit there sail is up it is good to go as far as doing what I was going to do there, again, possibly not on the next map I'm going to do, but maybe on another one. I want to have a go at fish farming at some point. We will get to it. The, pr the problem is as well, when you get all this... What is going on? Oh, I'm stuck on the headache rack. Is the lorry... Is it tipped? I don't know. Um, you kind of get to that point where there's all this cool stuff you want to use. And the problem is, if you do it all on one map, you kind of go a bit, whoa, I want to try everything. And then when you start a new map, you've used like, all this cool stuff. And you know, there's always new stuff coming out, but it's, it's that thing of, you know, what, what do you do? Do you keep something in reserve to do later on? Which I think I'm probably going to do. Right, let's see what happens, shall we? Straps off. Like I say, I've got peanuts before. If I get more than 1,600, That's appalling. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be better. I mean, I suppose if it's only 1,000 something per lot. I mean, it's still not a lot of money though, is it? I'm assuming the wood price is quite low. That's quite... I'm staggered by that. <laughs> All that time and effort. Same as it was last time. What's wood selling for? Um, old sawmill... Sawmill, sawmill, sawmill. But that doesn't make any sense. If the if I would chip them and get over one thousand four hundred, whatever it was, over a thousand liters for each tree, 
I had 11 trees that should have been at least 11,000 litres, and these are all saying over 1,000 for 1,000 litres. So why did I only get 581? That doesn't make any sense. That's very strange. Oh well. <laughs> Interesting way to end, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, Deadwood revisited. Not quite as good as Brideshead revisited. But, you know, it's up there. So. I'm going to miss this. Like I say, I wanted it, I want to take it with me. Maybe I'll keep it in reserve, and if I go to a, a different map, then I will. Because this is is one mod I, I've said before. I love my Land Rovers, and I love the Land Rover Santana mods, and I love the Offender. That's fantastic. But this, I don't know. There's just something about it. So, I'll see you at two o'clock when this launches. Three hours and 12 minutes. And away. Off it goes. What's that, boat number three? The last one we'll be doing. Wow, that was... That's interesting. That was more than I've ever got for one of those before. And off it goes. Brilliant stuff. We're nearly at 3.5 million. And that's pretty cool. And I suppose it's time for me to be away. Oh, no, that's what I didn't do. I'm wondering if it's because... Was it because it was registering that I didn't own them. Should I have completed first? Anyway, I've got a couple of active logging contracts. They can be passed on to whoever I leave behind to do my bidding. So let's head out. We'll pop past the homestead. Just have another look. And we will head off. Um, I've really enjoyed this Let's Play. I know it's been a bit kind of Marmite for a lot of people. Um, and because I moved on to the farming, I'm glad I did move on to the farming. I ended up doing quite a lot more than I thought I was going to do, in all honesty. The cows are going great. I switched over when I was putting stuff onto selling. I was moving my milk into my little dairy thing. I set it on raw milk, and that was on selling, so we were getting a good price of that. The um, hay is good to go. The silage in the silage clamp is fermented. That's good to go. The other, I suppose, another reason why it's probably... A, say a good time to go the situation with regards to the crops and the fertilizing situation because i lost all my fertilizer states in the the governmental change it was just a bit i suppose a bit bit of sweet really but yeah i've had a blast on there i've really enjoyed it so it's, it's a cracking map it really is you know and i, and I suppose my view as I, I did um what was the map was it Little Lands or was it... No, it was um, Deer Lands, wasn't it? Little Land and Deer Lands. On Deer Lands, it's a case of if you've got a map with forestry, a lot of forestry, and you've got fields, view it as it's a small farming map setting a, set in a woodland environment. So you can do logging, but you want to look at small farming, unless you really like your logging, in which case then it's a logging map. Um, I think a lot of people kind of look at a logging map and go, oh, it's logging, I don't like logging. But if there are fields and stuff on there, you can still treat it as a small farming map. And then also there's that situation, as I've said when I did the map tours and stuff like that, you can um, you can clear trees really quickly and easily now with the various different mods that are available. Corn's growing well, plantation would be up on the hillside, the wood production worked all right, rock clearing was great. The maltings, that was, that was a bit of a disaster. I think of everything I did, that really... For what it cost to put it in and the crops we used, um, we really didn't gain out of it. We lost money on that whole deal. So that, I think longer term, had we continued to do it over the next few years, if, if the roller coaster had taken me two years or three years to build, we would have recovered our money. Um, but yeah, I think because I would have got paid more for the wheat 
that I was putting in there, selling the wheat that I did for the malt, it kind of made it a bit of a weird one, really. I don't know. Anyway, chickens are still growing, going great guns. We've got eggs being produced. I don't know if I said before, did I? I kind of came here a couple of times to do strawberries. Um, I did end up putting the bottom fence in down here. Did a bit of landscaping around to there. Put another gate out there. I can't remember if I showed it or explained it. So this gate here with a little track that runs out so you can kind of drive round and through or round the other way and through. And I managed to put the fence in at the bottom here so the whole area was fenced in. And you could open that out down onto the waterfront if you wanted to. But um, yeah, that's it. If you stuck with it, if you stuck with me, um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>